I'm Dr. Phil, and you're watching Behind the Brand. I want to shift gears a little bit and um, talk about entrepreneurs. Um, it's a very popular term. It's kind of buzzy, and it's popular to be an entrepreneur right now, even though not everyone's got the chops for it. Um, do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? I do. And so do you think entrepreneurs are born? Or is it something that we can learn? Well, you know, I, I spend a lot of time in the legal profession, and uh, you can say a, a lawyer's a lawyer's a lawyer. That's not true. There's a difference between a defense lawyer and a plaintiff's lawyer, for example. Defense lawyers get paid by the hour, they get so they get regular money coming in. A plaintiff's lawyer might go a year or two and not make a dime, and then get a big paycheck. And that's not for everybody. Right. I mean, that's a riverboat gambler. You've got to be prepared to make sacrifices and have delayed gratification and get a whole lot later instead of a little bit along the way. And I'm not saying one's better than the other, but there's a different temperament. There's a different mentality. And what is that mentality? Like? And the, well, the mentality is, you know, first is, do you have the wherewithal to do it? Are you willing to make the sacrifices? to forego immediate gratification for delayed gratification and do you have the wherewithal to do that because you got to keep the wolf from the door yeah. while you're delaying that gratification I mean it sounds like high moral ground but you got to have the wherewithal to do that because you're betting your rent money you still got to pay the rent well yeah and if, then if you're married and you've got to answer what to I mean friends and family who are yeah. saying you know hey you, you still got to buy school shoes and you so it's that's what I mean it's not for everybody yeah. and so you know, I'm not someone that makes really aggressive investments on anything other than our own businesses. I'm not going to go take a flyer on a wildcat drilling program where you throw a rock in a field and spend a million dollars doing a deep well. But I will spend that million dollars investing on something where I know if it's elbow grease and thinking and commitment, that I control, then, then I am willing to do that. I am willing to forego a year, two, three, four, five before something comes to fruition as long as I'm the one that I'm, that I'm betting on. And so do you think you were born inherently with those traits, that DNA? <clears throat> no, I think it's a matter of being brought up poor. Okay. Um, you know, when you're poor, you, you have a different mindset because it, I can always tell if somebody's been sort of poor or they've been really poor. Poor people say, if you don't work, you don't eat. If you've really been poor, I can tell if somebody's really been really poor, they'll say, if you don't work and get paid today, you don't eat today. And I've been poor where I need to work today and get paid today, or I don't eat today. Right. And I think when you're in that situation, you're very results oriented. Yeah. And when you're very results oriented, then intentions don't matter as much as outcome. And right, when and you're have... results oriented, it's like, I mean, it's like in sports. I grew up in sports as well. What they care is not what you intended to do. They care how fast you run, how high you can jump, whether you can catch a ball and hang on to it. They don't care if you intended to. They, 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 they want to talk to the people who did. Well, and it's what have you done for me lately, too. You exactly. can't bank all that stuff. Yeah, you cannot bank it. It's what can you do for me today. Yeah. And so, you know, I kind of grew up in did I work to, I, work, I ate yesterday because I worked yesterday, but am I going to get up? I can remember I had a paper route when I was real young in Oklahoma City, and it was just sleeting and wind was howling and it was just horrible outside. He did not fit for man or beast. And I was getting dressed to go out and my mother said, you're not going out, where are you going? I said, I'm going to collect for the paper. Because back then, you'd go collect, knock, knock, I remember, knock. yeah. You know, I need uh, 315 for the paper. Yeah. She said, you're not going out. I said, yes, I am. I said, why are you going out in this weather? Because tonight, everybody's home. This was a, this is a great night to collect because everybody would be home. Nobody would be away from home. This was the perfect night to collect. That's what you do. You yeah. you find those opportunities where you have a target rich environment and you seize that moment. I learned that when I was in the seventh grade. Yeah, that's called hustle. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Thanks so much for being on the show. I appreciate it.